Hey y'all, welcome back. Today, I bet you can guess what we're getting into. So, let's get right into it. And uh, you'll see some time lapse, most of it for the beginning of it, uh, because we gotta move some posts and stuff. And I don't, really want, I don't I'm not gonna be trying to talk during that, but uh, after we get those posts set and we uh, get to rebuilding of the fence posts, or get to setting stuff back, that's when we will come back and we will start to kind of explain some things. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. And it's a little bit off of the uh, old beaten path of firewood, but as you guys can clearly see, we've definitely still got a bunch to take care of. So, come on with us, and we'll take you through getting this fence back up. Hey y'all, just wanted to bring you in for a quick moment as we are getting these holes dug. Quick. So there's one hole and there, there's the other one. So that guy's gonna be up against the house. We're gonna lag bolt it to the house. Ooh, right there, a couple lags right there. So yeah, and then we're gonna also have, I'm also be pulling this guy out too. So uh, we are going to keep digging Keep on giving you guys that good time lapse. Just wanted to bring you in a moment like this guy. He's about a shovel head or so deep. Oh, here we go. About a shovel head or so deep. Maybe a shovel head and a half. So we'll get, you know, that's roughly what? Eight to, eight to 10 inches, roughly. So then we're gonna, gonna do the same thing with uh, this post right here. He'll be moved back to Ooh, sorry about that. He'll move back right about to here. And then uh, we are going to go ahead and get three new three new posts sunk. Mom is actually out getting those right now. I started to dig these and we were going to go get someone for some help. But once I had started to dig this, I let her know, don't worry about going to go get them. I'll do it myself because heck, I've already got two holes dug. And with the drill that you keep seeing me use, which is this beautiful Milwaukee, which is that beautiful bad boy right there. That Milwaukee and that Sawzall are doing a ton of work for me, so I don't have to do as much. I'll tell you what, guys, it is amazing to have that kind of help on a day like this because, guys, I mean, granted, you could always just pull them out, but at the same time, you got to pull every board and every little. No, take it out in sections, make it easy. And, uh, yep, Betty White is still looking great as ever. Always got to keep her looking nice and pretty. But, uh, y'all, we're going to get back on get you back on that time lapse and we're gonna get this project more buttoned up or more dug out shall I say because uh you know what it's a nice and warm one today but the better we can do for ourselves and our families is the better that we're gonna have for long term and so I should get on the phone with Ma real quick to make sure that she can grab a couple bags of quickcrete so we can actually set the set a couple of these posts in so that we know that they will not move in the future Hope you guys are enjoying it so far, and let's get right back at it.
Hey y'all, so just wanted to hop in real quick. Let you know that this post was a pain in the butt to get straightened up and get right up against the uh, decking right there. Y'all, it was not, it took us a little bit longer than usual as you saw there, well not longer than usual. It took us a little bit longer than I guess what my mom and I had kind of planned on. But uh, you know what, it is set and that post is set. We used uh, grout instead of uh, the normal concrete. Hey, it was a mix up at the store, but no worries. Everyone has a mix up every once in a while. So what you're gonna actually see me next is dig this post up. We're gonna move it out to right about here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that and Alright y'all, so we got some more progress. We are now about 12 inches in the hole. It's only about 12. Um, I think y'all saw me right there towards the end of that uh, time lapse. I was checking holes and whatnot and checking the depth of it. So it's, it's going well, it's going well. I do need to get this stuff cleaned up. You know, this stuff all has to be cleaned up so that when we do go to open the fence eventually, and check it on ourselves we know that it'll work because that stuff is out the way um, but also i got a heck of a cleanup coming up thankfully a lot of that crap can go to being over at work in our burn pile where you guys saw the big fire happen that i posted a few months a month ago almost um actually over a month ago come to think of it but this hole is just about done mom is probably going to be back before too long from the uh, from the store from Home Depot uh, to check to check on our and uh, I got another product I actually want to I got a product I want to show you that's going to help me with dealing with uh, there's some po there's some poison ivy I think poison ivy poison oak on that tree uh, so I got some stuff to help me out so I don't end up like Brad from Firewood at the Furnace with his face all basically gone and uh, you know swollen shut and everything else so I don't have to pop Benadryl or anything like that. Um, but I will show you that here at the end of the video, right before I jump in the shower to, uh, to get out. Uh, yeah, there's a bald face hornet messing with me, but I'm, I'll show you that right at the end so that you guys know that, hey, there is a product out there that can help you out that isn't tech new and it isn't uh, any of the other products that you really have seen. They just came out, I want to say this past year. Um, they were at the Mid-Atlantic Nursery Trade Show and I saw them and I thought of Brad and myself because I know both of us have had problems with poison ivy in the past so I'm sorry there is a lot of time lapse on this video but this is also a bigger project than I think that my mom and I really realized and uh, I hope that it comes out good on camera um, I haven't really looked back at any of the uh, time lapse but I do know that with hard work and determination you can get a lot of things done so we're going to keep on that trend. We are going to keep pressing, keep getting everything going so that we can have a nice fence here that we did ourselves. So without much, without more to be said, enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Um, we will actually be taking a break right now because we need to, we're waiting on that post and that, and that thing is killing my arms because that drill as much, where are you at? That guy. As much of a time saver as it is, it kills the arms and the wrists. So we are going to get a moment of break so we can let ourselves kind of uh, get a little bit of a break here. Give our arms some love and uh, we'll be back at it the moment that we get to get back to getting everything else here. Wow. That's tiring. Well, I'm a sopping wet mess right now, so that makes sense. Um... We'll see you back in a bit.
Hey y'all, welcome back. This is the end of the video. <clears throat> it's been a long day, no doubt about that. And I'm gonna show you what we've gotten done today. Y'all, it is complete now. This gap and this gap will be addressed soon. Um, but you know, we did, we moved this post out from the edge of here. So moved them out probably 12 inches. We moved the post that was there, you can kind of see the remnants of that one, out probably 14 to 15 inches. And we now have a massive gate that I can fit, uh, that I can fit my truck through pretty much. So y'all, we did a lot of work today and thanks to everyone here in the family. Everyone, everyone helped and contributed in their own way. It was greatly appreciated. Uh, so uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And uh, like I said, those other parts will be addressed and I will show you guys when they are done so that uh, there are no questions. Yeah, we did finish the project, but uh, for today it's about five o'clock now. And so I'll get this one edited up for y'all. But thank you guys again for coming by to see this video. Again, a lot happened off camera and that's just fine. So not everything needs to be filmed. So this is WD30 signing off and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.